Hey, what's going on YouTube? ADC Art Attack here and welcome back to a brand new drawing video and in today's video I'm going to be doing a follow-up video to my first Artist Colors A Coloring Book type video. You guys seem to love that video so much and there was so much demand for a follow-up video. So, firstly, this is the coloring book. Yeah, it's a nice coloring book. The paper was fantastic. I loved this coloring book. It was good. It featured everyone's favorite superhero. Goku and yeah, I am um, <laughs> I, I I complimented the paper. I said the paper was fantastic and we managed to color this now I will throw up on screen as well a kind of high definition quality version of the image that we did and um, A lot of people requested that I showed you the back of this you wanted to see what happened well I didn't look until yeah after I read the comments and this happened as you can see it's a uh, pretty Destroyed. I had plans to color the entire thing in, but that's gone. Or I guess you could say I've kind of cheated and already colored in this page. Uh, yeah, so no, this is uh, scrapped. We are go we are going to be doing something cool today. We are going to be doing someone that a lot of people have been saying is their favorite superhero. And I have to agree, he's a pretty cool hero. Today, we are going to be doing Robin. That's right, we're gonna be coloring in Robin- No, I'm joking, come on, it's Batman. We are gonna be coloring in Batman. I went to the local store again and I picked up this glorious Colorio coloring book, not sponsored, and it was only two euros. Once again, bargain sales. So, I guess someone said to me that this is actually pretty expensive for a coloring book. I don't know, I don't buy coloring books. I'm um, an adult, I'm this big, so. <laughs> I'm five, but I'll be six in five months. But yeah, so I haven't had a look through this, and that was a cheeky glance I just had there. We're gonna flick through this and see what we find. I'm assuming Batman, but you never know, could be anyone. We're gonna have a look, find a perfect image, and if we do find a perfect image, well then we're gonna color that perfect image. And if we find an image we like, but it's lacking in details that I feel I would personally add, I will add them in. But I don't want to discredit the artists who created this because obviously they are talented people. These came from the comic books, so every page in this are from the comic books and I don't want to discredit the artists in any way, shape or form. But there are sometimes a few things that I would like to add or like to see. Now I'll try to add those with either a pen or with the colouring pens themselves. But that being said, we are going to flick through this right now and see what we find. Ooh, transition. So here we have it. This is the Batman coloring book by Colorio, or is it the coloring Colorio book by Batman? Who knows? One of life's many mysteries. Today I'm going to be flicking through this right now and let's see if we can find anything cool. Now I haven't looked through this as I say, and we are going to do this together and share in the experience and hopefully find something pretty cool to draw. So let's open the Batman. Um, right, wow, actually, quite a cool image. Right off the bat, we've got, it's a pretty small, so I'm not going to really work with something this small, but we do have Batman and the Joker, probably voiced by Mark Hamill, because he is, like, the best Joker. Comment down below your favourite Joker, but Mark Hamill is definitely my favourite. So, let's uh, continue on with flicking through this, and when we find a perfect image, we're going to stop, we're going to assess it, we're going to colour it. Let's do this. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. I've decided on this one. I think this one looks pretty cool. It's quite dynamic pose. It looks good. There's no text on the screen. This is the problem that I had with most of these pages. There were so many texts going on. I kind of wanted one without the text. It was quite distracting. So yeah, we're going to go with this one. And for the most part, it looks quite complete, actually. There isn't anything immediately that I would say I need to add. We might as we go, but for now, this looks pretty good. So I can't wait to get started coloring this, and I hope you do enjoy the video. So without further ado, let's get started with coloring Batman. Okay, so let's get on with coloring Batman. Now, I gotta say right off the bat, coloring with darker tones is definitely playing towards my strengths. This is something that I love to do. I love coloring with dark tones and I also love coloring with blue. So that's what we're gonna be using for the cowl, the cape, the boots, the hands, the arms, the arms, the legs, things like that. So I, I think this is gonna be a good drawing. I think you might like this. Now, the beauty of using darker colors here is that if there's any areas you struggle with or any areas that you think mm, maybe it doesn't look too good, you can always get away with adding some really nice deep shadows into it. And it's a really cool way of sort of giving yourself a little bit more confidence with doing artwork, knowing that you have that safety net when doing this. So I definitely suggest practicing and starting off with using characters that have a high contrast, high shadows, high darkness, high whatever this is that I'm trying to explain. And um, it's just a great way to learn. 
<laughs> okay, we gotta stop here because I just uh, realized something a little bit weird. We're, we're, we're coloring in this guy right here and yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's already been done. Um, huh. Brilliant. Well, I'm going to continue because I have done too much work right here to stop. So let's uh, get on with this and I guess at the end we can compare. Brilliant. The style I went for here, I actually took from doing the first video that we did, the Superman one. And I just sort of took what I learned doing that into this because obviously the paper is quite cheap. It isn't great paper by any means. It's not amazing and it's not special at all. Uh, so I have to adapt and had to learn to try to use this paper. And I guess that was the point of this video. So I felt much more confident going into this, I knew what I wanted to do, I knew how to do it and I think it worked pretty well going right into it and knowing what I wanted to do immediately and how to do it, so that was pretty cool. There wasn't actually anything during this video that I felt I needed to add to the character. All of the lines were pretty good. Everything that they had put into it looked pretty good. There wasn't an area that I thought, mm, maybe I could have more. So I didn't actually do any extra lines. I figured, you know what, I'll put the fine liner down and I'll just do this strictly coloring. I won't add anything to this. I'll leave it as it is. I'll respect the artist and what they've done. And seeing as I made the mistake of actually doing the cover image, which I didn't even realize, I figured, you know what, we'll just take the task on. We'll do this my way. And then at the end, we will compare it exactly what it looks like with my coloring style versus the cover coloring style. I didn't realize this was going to turn into a versus video, but that's where we are now. I decided during this to add the highlights that we attempted in the last drawing. I know a lot of people had different mixed opinions about the highlights that I used with that last one. Now I've got to say that's because this paper is just, I'm not used to using this. It's really difficult to use this paper. It's so difficult to go from using my regular paper to using this. My regular paper for the record is Bristol board. That's what I tend to use mostly or sketch paper, which is quite high quality. But yeah, this is obviously not really good paper. So using the highlights here, it didn't really work too well. So with this drawing, however, I kind of knew what I was doing and when I went into it I think the highlights came out pretty good and I think by the end of this you are really gonna like it so with all that being said I think I'm gonna sign off right now and let you enjoy the rest of this video and I'll catch you at the end where we can review the process and review the entire drawing and I gotta say I think you're gonna like it because I really like it all right so enjoy and I'll see you then
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for sticking around to the end. Here is the completed drawing. I am super, super happy with the results here. I think this came out pretty good. I think it actually came out better than the Superman one. We'll throw it up on screen for a comparison right here, just so we can sort of see what, you know, we're dealing with. Did I improve? I think I did. The paper quality, again, I mean, this paper is pretty good. Let's have a cheeky little look on the other side. And I'll show some HD images in a moment, a couple photos, different angles, fancy stuff like that. But let's have a look on the other side, which we didn't do in the last video, and see what the damage is. Um... Hey, would you know? It's uh, not too bad, actually. I, we can't really make out what's going on on this page. And I only got a little bit of bleeding here. I did actually forget to put the paper back down before. But the big issue was, uh, I didn't realize that this is the front cover. So, um, I kind of just drew the front cover. Ha <laughs> ha uh, I could have just used that as a reference the entire time. Never mind. So, I'll throw up on screen a few images now, and you guys can check them out. What do you think about this drawing? Did you like the result in the end? I did. I think it came out pretty cool, super happy with it. I really enjoyed doing this series. I love the response you gave in my first video. Hopefully this video does just as good. If not, doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep doing this, but I'd love to know who would you like to see in the future? Would you like to see me do some Marvel characters? Maybe some anime type stuff or manga type stuff? I'm open to your suggestions. I would love to hear them in the comments down below, so please let me know. And also let me know your favorite superhero. And do you think that Batman is a better superhero than Superman? I don't know. So in summary, here is a side by side of the front cover and my version of it now they're a little bit different and <laughs> I wish I had known from the very start because I probably would have used the cover as a reference for this material I guess it's just one of those things it's, a, it, it's quite a nice turn of events but hey here it is what do you think guys I'd love to see your comments down below please do leave them because I'd love to interact with you and I will try to respond to as many as I can I'm ADC Art Attack I hope that you have enjoyed this video today again just all that stuff I said before <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.